So I'm just going to kick things off with what is my mnemonic, and uh, that would be the uh, spokes um, from a bicycle wheel, and it's what I used for the rotating of the Gravity 2 logo. All right, first recording session. Um, kick things off with uh, a knife on spokes of my bike. Some kind of cool sounds out of this. Got a few tools here I'm going to try. So I'm going to try this bell. Interesting. I also figured I could try to pluck it with this. I'm not sure. That's pretty sweet. All right. Uh, so next phase of the plan is uh, there's lots of cool spherical objects. This is resonating in a cool way. Um, there's lots of cool spherical objects in the video. So I figured, um, and it's like rotating around, especially the scene with the marbles. So got some marbles, got a symbol. I'm going to uh, try and make some cool high frequency kind of metallic sound effects to work with transitions and uh, work into kind of some of the objects that are happening and playing out on the screen. So my first idea is to just take a few of these suckers and get them rolling around here and see what happens. Awesome. I got a few of these. <laughs> so 
cool. <laughs> I'll just go for a whole splash of them. I wish I could sequ sequence them, synchronize them a little bit better, but it's not a modular synth, you know? So, I don't know. I'm just going to see what happens if I throw them all in there. Okay, one more time. I need a little more gusto. Grand finale. Okay, that's freaking cool. <laughs> so I wanted to go over just a little bit of the music portion of the video and I wanted to kind of go over some of the effects because um, a lot of the sound design effects are also kind of in the music with the synth. Um, this is a Dave Smith Instruments Mono Evolver keyboard and um, really cool synth because it's half uh, digital and half analog. And uh, I also really dig the way the filter sounds. It's super cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is just like play a little bit of the effects. Um, basically it's using the resonance, the filter frequency, and then it also has these like feedback. Um, it's got like a grun a grunge button. I don't really use the button, but it's got essentially like a feedback knob that, uh, is a feedback basically hard circuited into the signal path and a level on it. So um, I'll kind of give you just a quick example of uh, the effects so you can kind of pick them out when you hear the video. So here we go. You might hear a little clicking here. I actually, um, yeah, it's in the patch and I got some of that in the video. Uh, had to remove it later, but um, kind of annoying. All right, here we go. So then this is the grunge frequency. And then as you put the mod wheel up, I think it increases the resonance or something. I don't remember if I used the grunge button. I actually recorded this um, a while ago, but 
kind of interesting either way. Thanks for listening.